Thank you, Mercedes and Abby. It's my pleasure at this time to introduce our first student speaker, Honorarian Roberto Ayala. Es mi placer presentarles a nuestro primer orador, Honorarian Roberto Ayala. Good evening, Principal Drummond, members of the school board, teachers, parents, friends, and fellow graduates. It's an honor to stand and speak before you all. Well, we made it, guys. It's finally here. The moment we've, been, we've all been waiting for, graduation. It's, about, it's been about 12 years now since most of us began our educational lives, and still to this day, I remember my first day of school. Graduates, I ask, do you? Do you remember how, we, how small we were, how happy we were? How our moms used to dress us? <laughs> I remember wearing my, my favorite Power Ranger shirt the first day of school. I remember being one of the tallest in the class. And also I remember how happy I was. Happy to meet new kids and make new friends. That day was the first day I met some of you. And as the, and as the years went by, I met more of you. Soon I discovered these are the kids I will grow up with. And well, I was right. We all, had privilege, we all had the privilege to grow up together to see how we transformed from children to teenagers and now to young adults. Now, 12 years later, we look back at those times that we had together as one big family. Although extremely excited to move on, we can't help ourselves but to reminisce the good times <clears throat> and how much we'll miss our little high school. Yes, we are leaving, but we will never forget the experiences we had here. We will apply our experiences and knowledge gained from, from, being, from being this school in the rest of our lives. But we must also thank the people who made this happen, the ones who have always pushed us forward, wanted nothing but the best from us, and wanted to, wanted to see us succeed. Personally, first of all, I want to thank God for putting me in this, for, for, <clears throat> for putting me in this place, in this situation. Then I also want to thank my teachers throughout the high school. Thank you for, for expanding my knowledge and preparing me for the future. Also, I want to thank my beautiful girlfriend, Araceli Mora. Thank you for being there where I needed help. Thank you for staying up late and helping me with assignments. And thank you for believing in me. <clears throat> now for my parents, I would like to say in Spanish. <clears throat> Roberto Yala y Laura Ruiz, mis padres. ¿Qué puedo decir? Amo mucho a los dos. Palabras no son suficientes para agradecer a ambos por lo que han hecho por mí. Sé que han enfrentado muchos retos, pero durante los tiempos difíciles ustedes nunca dudaron en darme lo que, que se necesitaba para mi educación. Los dos siempre me empujaron hacia adelante. Siempre, me quisieron, siempre quisieron lo mejor de mí y me enseñaron que nunca pierda, que nunca pierda de vista mis objetivos y mis metas. Sé que, no, que yo no siempre he sido el mejor hijo y aunque a veces andemos enojados, les quiero dar las gracias por estar siempre ahí por mí. No puedo pedir a Dios mejores padres que los que me ha dado. Gracias por siempre querer en mí y por todo lo que han hecho por mí. Los quiero mucho. <coughs> Classmates, today isn't the end. It's a new beginning. This is a time to push forward into the next journey of our lives, whether it means going to college and getting a degree, joining the military and expanding, exploring the world, or just working full time. Whether the case, whether the, whatever the case might be, we must always, always remember to believe in ourselves and to never give up. Graduates, I urge you today to embrace this new beginning and strive for the best. I wish you all the best and good luck on your future endeavors. Thank you, and go class of 2011! Woo!